Hi everybody! Welcome to our Monday Facebook Live Bodabra show. And today we're going to be making a beautiful chair bow on a wedding bouquet and some other really fun projects. So thanks for joining and I'm going to get started. So I just in case you aren't familiar with the Bodabra, let me just show you really quick. The Bodabra is a bow maker and underneath here there are springs and the springs are going to automatically adjust to everything that I put in the Bodabra so it's acting like a third hand. We also have a mini Bodabra which is exactly like the big Bodabra but mini and it has the springs and this is great for hair bows and smaller bows and then we have the hair bow tool and ruler so it allows us to measure um, for little itty bitty bows and make our hair bows perfect. So I'm going to put my mini Bodabra aside, put my Bodabra wand in there and take my big Bodabra and grab my wand and I've taken some of our Bodabra bow wire and I've cut it already and I'm going to just fold it in half and lay it into my Bodabra and I'm just tucking the ends underneath so they stay out of the way. Now this is going to be a chair bow. So I'm just, what, what you wanna do is measure around the chair so that you can tie it um, onto the chair or you could hang this from a pew bow. So all I'm gonna do here, and I want my tool to be laying flat. So now I'm gonna take this beautiful lace. Ruth said hello from Arkansas. Hi Ruth! And How? Terry and Maria. Also said hello. Hi Terry, hi Maria. Thanks you guys so much for taking the time to join me. It means a lot. So um, now I'm going to take this beautiful five inch wide lace and I'm just going to fold it and um, now fold it back. So as you can see, um, everything just is held down into my Bodabra. So I'm going to fold it back and forth. I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to fold it back. And what's great is you're not fumbling with your bow. I'm gonna fold it back over here a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna finish it off by just looping that in. Now I'm going to take my satin ribbon and I'm gonna make another bow exactly the same way, but this has a wrong side and a right side. So I wanna make sure that my wrong side is always on the inside of my loop. So I'm gonna come back over here and twist. Then I'm gonna fold it back, twist and push it in, and fold it back and twist. And I'm eyeing how big my loops are, but if you were making a bow by hand, it would be, um, it, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be perfect. And that's kind of the look that we want. So I'm gonna fold this back so that it looks natural and it's gonna be really pretty. So we're just gonna fold it back and I'm kind of mixing the lace with the satin and then we're gonna even put some burlap in here to kind of give it a whole dimension of different ribbons and different textures. Now I'm gonna take my wand and just scrunch everything in here to hold it down and fold it back over and twist fold it back over, twist, and go one more time, and push that down in there. Now, I'm going to take my burlap and twist it, and I'm just going to fold, whoops, fold and twist, and I'm gonna fold back and forth. So, I don't know what it's like in your part of the country, but we're in Las Vegas, and it's like 94 degrees here can't believe how hot it is. So why don't you guys let me know where in the country you're from. I know um, you're from Arkansas, but who else can tell me where you guys are from and what's the weather like there? So now I'm just gonna scrunch this down here and I'm gonna take these really pretty flowers and I'm just, I'm just folding the end under here so it just stays in my, in my boat there. And I'm going to now take my wire and I folded it in half so I have a slip knot. I'm going to hold my bow down really tightly and pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra. 
pull it out. I'm gonna separate my ends. I'm gonna bring it around to the back and I'm going to tie it off. And if I could also ask you guys a huge favor, if you know anybody getting married or who might be just interested in home decor, let them know about the show and please share with them. We're on every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. East Coast time. So now I'm just gonna clip that there. And now comes the fun part. We're gonna just shape the bow. I'm gonna kind of shape my flowers out here. Bring my burlap out. And I just love the look of having the burlap and uh, okay, these are my tails. So I wanna make sure I do this right side up. And I love having. Mary Jane said she's from Florida and it's 80s and rainy. Maria said she's from New York City and Terry said it's perfect in San Diego. Oh, poo. <laughs> It's not perfect here. In fact, we actually do these Facebook lives in my garage. And we've decided today's the last um, Instagram live. Oh my gosh, how can I forget the Instagram people? Um, we've decided that we're going to have to make another arrangement because it's just too hot to try to do it um, outside anymore. So we were going to be moving inside. So let's just bring the tails and we'll keep pluffing. And now that would hang. Isn't that pretty? So lots of love, you guys. Come on, you have to tell me if you like it. Or you're getting lots of likes. Are we getting lots of likes? Cool. Thank you. Again, I am so appreciative that you guys take the time to come and spend Monday evenings with me um, because it means a lot to me. I know you have a lot of other things on your plate. Now... We're going to make a really, oops, I've got to take some of my silver bow wire. And we sell the wire in 100 yard rolls. Um, and it's just awesome for tying bows. No more use for needle nose pliers or any of that stuff that you used to use when you would tie your bows. So I'm folding. Now make the bouquet is going to be pretty big. So I'm going to fold my wire. I cut a little bit more than normal. And again, I'm doing exactly the same thing. And I'm sort of on the same theme as my chair bow. I'm going to use lace and burlap. So I just cut this piece of lace and this is going to be a tail. I'm just gonna lay that in. Actually, I'll lay that that way so you can see as I make it. And I'm gonna take my piece of burlap and I'm just gonna lay that in. And then I have another piece of lace that I'm gonna lay on top. And we have our tails. And then now I'm going to start making my bow using my burlap and I'm just gonna twist it and I'm gonna fold it back and twist it. You're getting lots of love on Facebook. Oh, you guys, thank you. I love love. Oh, you know what's so cool? Now it's not out yet in um in on the Android, I don't think, but it will be. It's like we we're just waiting for them to approve. But if you go to iTunes, you can actually search Bodabra in the App Store and you can download your free Bodabra app. And I am so excited. So if, um, there's just so much stuff on there and um, it's just cool. I'm so excited with my new app. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna stop there and now I'm going to lay my flowers for my bouquet in here. And I have this pretty one here. Lay this down that way because, of course, our bouquet, the flowers we want up at the top. And I'm going to lay this one here. Actually, I think I'm going to do that there. And I'm going to take my beautiful little lily and put that here. And I'm going to take my another burlap flower and a rose. And I'm going to put the rose on this side. And I think I have another burlap flower here. So put my last burlap flower. And now I'm just gonna take, let's just take this around here and continue making my loops. I'm just gonna twist and I'm gonna fold it back and twist. Oh, I think I made that loop a little bit too big, there we go. So, and I'm gonna fold this back and twist. Now, how easy is this? And what I love is by doing the bouquets with, you can use fresh flowers, of course, but you can make them ahead using silk flowers. 
And not only is it nice to have it made ahead, but you also can keep it. So it's a keepsake from the wedding for all of the bridesmaids, the flower girls. Oh, and or, you know, the bride, of course. And the really cool thing is next week, we're actually going to make it a flower girl week. So we're going to make all kinds of really fun things for a flower girl. We have fairy wands we're going to make. So again, all I'm doing, and you can see the Bodabra is holding everything in for me. So I'm just twisting back and forth. And now I'm going to just finish that off here. And I have one more really pretty flower that I want to just lay down in here. I think I'll lay it like Yes. Maria said, oh my gosh, going to download it. And Crystal said, congratulations, Sandy. Thank you. I'm so, so excited about the app. We've been working really hard on it. So now I'm just going to scrunch everything down. And I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire. And I mean, how much easier is it to make a um, bouquet like this without having to struggle with trying to do this all in your hands? So now I've got my loop, and so I'm gonna pull this through my slip knot, hold it really, really tight while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out and separate my ends and bring it around to the back. And if you want another idea for bouquets, we have one that we did last week, um, which was a little bit different in our Facebook Live last week. And now I'm just going to knot it and I've got so much in here, I'm actually gonna double knot it. I think I'm gonna double knot it. And then I'm just gonna clip my ends. And now we're gonna shape. So I'm gonna just take my lace here and I have this piece here, then I have my burlap and then my other lace. And then I'm gonna just shape all of this here and shape my ribbon. And bring that around so I kind of hide all the stems. And bring my flowers, shape the back of the bow. Oops. And is that not a beautiful bouquet? So tell me what you think. Do you guys like it? Okay, thank you. And now we are going to go on and we're going to make a little bow in our mini bodabra. I'm just going to set this aside over here and I'm going to pull this out and we're going to make a cute little headband or pin. It can be either a corsage pin or a headband. So um, I actually have the pins because originally I was going to make this um, a headband. So I'm going to start, I mean, to make it a pin. <laughs> so I guess I need some of my bodabra bow wire. And let's go ahead and fold this in half. And oh, also, you guys, when you download it, make sure that after you've looked at it, you rate the app because that would be really helpful. The more app rates we get, then the more people will know about Bodabra. So I wanted to ask you that favor. So thanks, you guys. So I'm folding my Bodabra bow wire in half, and I'm just going to lay this into my mini Bodabra and tuck it underneath. And I'm going to take my, my wire here. I like to use the 100 yard rolls because it's just easier than the little 50 foot ones. So all I'm gonna do here is take my lace and fold it and twist and come back around. Crystal said pretty and Ruth said love, love, love it. Thank you, Ruth. And I think you guys are going to love, love, love the fairy princess stuff we're going to do next week. So now I just have this little piece of ribbon and all I'm going to do, it's just pretty gold ribbon, is I'm just going to scrunch this right down in here and then I'm going to take my flower and lay that in the middle and I'm just going to take my wand, scrunch it all down. And then I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, and I used gold because I have the gold ribbon there, even though you're not even going to see it. So pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, bring it out, just separate the ends, bring it around and tie it off. And then a little trick that I'm going to do, I'll show you in a second, is I'm going to take my flower 
and bring it around like this. And I'm gonna actually cut the ends. Now, if I wanted to put this on a headband, I would tie it onto the headband. But I'm gonna actually put it on a pre, um, a pre uh, glued um, pin. So I'm just gonna flip this around. I'm just gonna do this. Now I'm gonna just bring my um, stem around. So it's around here, my little flower and my corsage there. And I want it to go down like that, that's on purpose. And then I'll just put the pin back on it. So now you can see I'm just, I'm just basically sticking the pin back to it. You could glue it on there. And, and there you have it. And that makes, doesn't that make like a really pretty pin? For like mother of the bride or whatever, or even for prom. <laughs> So now, I'm going to put this aside, and where's my next projects? Jeannie said, hi Sandy, that's really pretty. Crystal said, that's lovely, and Maria said, so pretty. Thank you guys! Hi Jeannie! And Crystal, and Maria, I'm so excited you guys are watching, and um, I really appreciate it, as you know, because it's time out of your day to come spend with me. So now, I'm going to... Um, use the mini Bodabra again, and we're just going to make, actually this is way too much wire for the mini Bodabra, so I'm just going to cut this, and I'm going to lay this down in here. I'm going to make another little boutonniere, um, so I'm going to start by taking, move this for you guys to be able to see, so I just have this piece of, um, of ribbon, and I've already dovetailed the ends. In case you're not sure how to dovetail, I'll just remind you, I'm going to fold my ribbon in half, and I'm gonna cut from the end into the fold. And then that gives you your really pretty dovetail. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna fold this in half and I'm just gonna lay it, I'm just gonna lay this down into my bodabra. Because I want this big loop to be at the top. And then I'm going to put my flower in. I think I'm gonna put my flower in and I'm gonna just finish it off with so this could be like for the man versus the pretty the one that I did for lace which would be for the woman and then I'm gonna take my mini bodabra wand it's gonna scrunch everything down then I'm gonna take this here pull it through the loop and pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra now separate the ends whoops there we go bring it around to the back and I'm going to just tie my knot and this is going to be so pretty and I know that it's prom time right now so this could even be a really pretty wrist corsage um and let's let's just cut this here Peggy said hello from Jacksonville Florida hi Heidi so what's the weather like in Jacksonville now and here we go like I said, we are dying here because we're out in my garage today and it's 94, is it 94 degrees, you guys? Yeah, it's 94 degrees. So, and if we turn the air on, then you won't be able to hear this. So <laughs> next week we will be in air conditioned, cool climate. But for right now, let me just look at here. Okay, so that's shape. And then we have our two little tails here. And then that can go as like on a, a little pin, or it could actually go um, on, on a wrist corsage, which would be really pretty. So that's one. And then the next project that I have is really kind of cute. This could be for like um, for a ring bearer or even for a puppy. Um, if your puppy is part of the wedding, which I know is pretty common nowadays, so this could be a really pretty bow, bow tie. Um, and so I'm going to make this for you now. And this is kind of cute. And I love this idea of putting this on a puppy. So I'll cut my wire here, fold it in half, and lay it down into my mini bodabra. And just in case you aren't sure, underneath here I have springs, so that's what's holding everything together. So now what I'm gonna do is I've just cut these pieces. I haven't dovetailed them. 
um, because I want it to be kind of more masculine. And I'm just gonna fold them in half, find the center, and just do a little kind of a mountain crease in there and push it down. And then I'm going to take this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it in half, gonna find the center, do my little mountain crease and put that down. And we call that a mountain up. And um, in our Bodabra app, we do have instructions for lots of different hair bows. So again, I'm folding this in half. I'm gonna do my little mountain up crease. Put that down into my Bodabra. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. My, oh, thought, forgot, I've gotta fold it in half. And then do my mountain up crease. Put that down into my Bodabra. And then I'm just going to kind of, now this is um, some of our mesh. And I'm just going to kind of fold it over and put that down in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my Bodabra wand and scrunch this down and bring this up, pull my two ends through my slip knot, and um, I'm, now I'm just gonna separate the ends and bring them around to the back and tie it. Twist, I'm just gonna twist it because then we can tie it. I'm thinking it can tie onto um, the ring bearer. You can put it through a buttonhole for the ring bearer or let me just pull that there. There we go. I'm just actually, I'm gonna just cut this. That's what I love about this stuff. You can just cut it if it's. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? So what do you guys think? I love it. So now we are going to, um, let's see, what are we gonna make now? I think what we're gonna do, I have to find all my stuff here. Um, and I'm going to make a flower like I have on my hat. I feel like I should be in Hawaii. Um, so we're gonna do one more project today and we're gonna make these really pretty Bodabra flowers. Um, let's just move all this stuff out of my way. Isabel said, hey there, so glad to see you. And Jeannie said, so cute. Thank you so much, Isabella and Jeannie. I'm so, oh my God, I'm sweating. It's so hot out here. So I think we're gonna have to end after I finish this one. But next week we are gonna be in the cool area, but this 94 degrees in my, gar in my garage without a fan is a little insane. So fold this in half, lay, whoops, lay down into my mini Bodabra. And I'm going to take, now my, these are, what I do for my leaves is I have pointy ends and I'm just gonna find the middle of my leaf. These are about four and a half inches, but you can make them as big or small as you want. And again, I'm gonna just scrunch that down in there. I did the mountain up only because it's habit, but you don't have to. Um, and then I'm gonna take this here, fold it in half. Let's see what we're doing here. Fold this in half, find my center. And now just scrunch that down. And I'm just going to kind of shape it as I'm making it. So now I'm going to take these. Oh, the other really important thing is you have to use for this to really work. It has to be a wired ribbon. So I'm just going to take a couple of leaves. And if you want a big one, you can make use. A, you can use more leaves. If you want it smaller, a smaller flower, you use less leaves. I'm going to just put that there. I think I'm going to take this pretty pink one. Oops. And I'm really just pushing them in. There's nothing special about how I'm placing them into my mini Bodabra. Whoops, we grab one more. And then I'm gonna just take this little piece of, um, oh, what do you call this, organza, and lay that down in there. And then here's my mini Bodabra, whoops. One, and scrunch that down. Now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire. I'm gonna pull it through here. Pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And this time I'm just gonna twist because the because this is a wire, but it's also really strong. Um, now I can just kind of shape my leaves and kind of, I'm just gonna basically push everything up while I'm holding the bottom. And then that's gonna let me shape it into a really, really pretty flower. Not pretty. And about as simple as simple can get. 
So this is really nice. You can make a whole bouquet of these. Um, four, you can actually make a bouquet out of these, or this could make a really, really nice Mother's Day gift, because, oh my gosh, Mother's Day is just around the corner. So, um, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're going to quit a little early. Normally, we go to five uh, to 4.30 or 7.30, but we're just going to stop because we're kind of dying <laughs> I do want to remind you that right now available in the iTunes App Store is our Bodabra. It's free. So just go um, search for the Bodabra app and download it. And there's lots of great stuff in the app. I'm so excited to finally have it available. So thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next week for more great wedding stuff. We're actually going to make... Um, some really cute fairy wands, some head pieces, and some other really fun things for um, the flower girl or the fairy flower girl. So it's going to be real fun. And we'll see you next week. Bye.